Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. Hello everybody, my name is Jacob and I'm very extremely happy and excited right now. Um, Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated is here. I I pre-ordered this game two months ago. It's it's finally here, it's arrived. I This was one of my favorite games as, as a child, as a youngin. I still replay it pretty regularly and to celebrate the release of Battle for Bikini Bottom, Rehydrated, this is going to be a 100% playthrough. Every shiny object, every sock, every golden spatula, we're going to get them all. And I can't wait to experience... I hadn't even booted the game up. I didn't even know what the main menu looked like or the logos or anything. Hadn't even touched it. We're going to go in, we're going to edit our graphic settings real quick, and we're going to have a great time. I can't wait. I'm so excited. All right, real quick. No, I want full screen. What are you kidding me? Yeah. Gameplay, smart camera. Uh, audio, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. New game. Maybe I should... Move the mouse. Maybe Should I do it in Japanese? Should we do subs, not dubs? Because that was one of the things they were pushing is like, look at all the cool languages we have. Oh. To Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful oh, I'm so sanctuary. excited. Today it will be transformed into a theater and oh, pure horror. Where our little yellow friend I'm smiling so down. much. I can't wait. Today's the big day. I have devised an ingenious <laughs> plan. I reckon I see original recording. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. Demolished in the process. Oh well. See, come on, Plankton. You need the people to buy your patties. Ah, the Duplicatotron. Oh, I can't, oh, it's gonna. Mm, I can't wait. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius? Answer yes. Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch. Oh, and even the switch even goes a little, like a little stiffly, just like in the original. God, I am. Th it's gonna be really hard to have an, any actually good commentary in this video because it's just gonna be me gushing about how excited I. Yep, forgot the obey switch. Why'd you even add it, Plankton? Sorry, Plankton. No! Another perfect day playing robots and race. Oh, a little bit of Papa in there, but yeah. that, that's fine. We can excuse that. Get, okay, let me go ahead and. While we're on the subject of SpongeBob, I am really upset about Paramount's decision to make the new SpongeBob movie digital only. Like, I get it, but if you're going to make it digital only and not release it in theaters, why don't you maybe put it out on digital a little bit sooner? Like, delaying it till 2021 and, like, it, it, it's that's the wrong decision. Because at that point, just put it in theaters if you're going to delay it that long. But whatever. My film interests are bleeding over into the video game interests, but that it's fine. Whatever. Okay. I shake the magic wishing shell. I'm so happy. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You well, you already, already did. did. So, okay is the magic mm -hmm. wishing word? It used to be. I forgot the whole thing. <laughs> Remember the beginning? It doesn't matter, it's fine. This is my childhood being reborn on screen. You don't understand how happy I am. I'm extremely happy. Then I said the magic wishing word and shook, shook them, and, and then in the warning, morning, I had all the, the cookie, cookie crumbs. I love you. They got the picture of themselves on the wall. The this looks really good. good night, at least the character models, at least. It will remain to be seen if the entire game looks really good. 
Because I do have some reservations, some stuff that I saw in, um, in early gameplay that concerned me a little bit. That maybe it'll be a little floaty, but we're about to see. We're about to jump into it, literally. Here we go. This is it. It's loading. Yeah, Gary. It sure looks like we're in a doozy. Oh, it looks so good. The pop in I can excuse. In order to fix this mess. Meow. What a fantastic These idea. signs. Well, the, um, how do, how do I, I read, read the signs? The I already know okay. all this. Press this button. Meow. Right bumper. So I want to come back and talk to you yep. again. Explore the kitchen. Explore the bedroom. Explore the attic. Explore the closet. Oh, it's not slow at all, baby. It feels exactly. Oh, it feels so good. I'm so happy right now. You have no idea. Uh, let's see the TV real quick. Breaking news: Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging. So oh. much for fixing this quietly. <laughs> the facial expressions are so good. I'm so happy. But they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble. Uh oh. Did I say big trouble? I, I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble. trouble. We'll keep, keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds. unfolds. Tragically, we're sure. God, it. Have I mentioned how excited I am for this? Like, oh. Oh. Even, like, from what I saw in the trailers and everything, like, the little bit of extra, like, stuff that came with all his moves i was worried like is that gonna make it feel a little bit slower but no it it, it still feels great the shiny objects i they move a little slower to you but they're still in your trajectory so it's not really something i'm super concerned about what do you got to say mr krabs ahoy there spongebob oh it's the crab you've been so so a little bit of a, a little bit of a backstory in the original so Battle for Bikini job? Bottom, they didn't have, they for some reason couldn't get the voice actor for Mr. Krabs. It, they got everybody else's original show voice actor, but for some reason Mr. Krabs just wasn't one of the ones that they got. So a lot of people were talking about prior to um, this coming out, oh they're going to get the voice actor for Mr. Krabs, the actual show voice actor. Well I guess not, because that's the original actor from from uh, the original game. Uh-oh. Okay, I, that was almost really bad. So what is this? Is this still gonna drop it on me like normal? This is a pair of SpongeBob underwear. SpongeBob will lose a pair of underwear every time he gets hit by a robot or touches dangerous objects or surfaces. Like this. Yeah. Oh, wait, he didn't... Okay, I can pop up this. The, the UI looks a little generic. I, I, I like the original UI better and oh I I kind of hate this map like I I guess it works better in the long run but I I definitely prefer the original map and like they aren't how are they laid out okay I guess they're laid out in terms of Crystal Park downtown I guess they're laid out in terms of like location, but not really. That's weird. I, I'm not. I'm not really a fan of that. Yeah, you can definitely tell that this was made in a different engine from the original. But all things considered, they did a pretty good job of recreating things. And I think even the tiki's they explode a little slower, but again, it's it's like the um, it's like the shiny objects. It might be a little slower, but they still work really well. Um, I do wish they had kept the the flat. I think it's parallaxing models for these shiny objects as opposed to brand new 3D models, just because those original 2D models that was a lot of the charm. All right, come on, let's go. I want to get a sock. Doo -doo. Yeah, and you can still use that. Yep, just like in the original, you can use that to drift a little bit and, and get a little bit of extra air. All right, that's everything. That's everything in SpongeBob's house. Well, everything except for uh, this. Even kept the original. That, that's a little stiffer. 
than the rest of the stuff. But you know what? It's fine. I can excuse it. All right, here we go. We're going out. Eee! I'm very excited. I'm very happy right now. This is like, this is my RE2 remake. <laughs> this is that level for me. Like the sounds of your uh, own neighborhood. It looks so good. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you, you won't, won't get, get away, away with it. I've got bigger, bigger fish, fish to fry. fry. I've, I've got, got to figure, figure out how to regain control, control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they like, come from? Where? where? Um, I don't, I don't know. know. Not for, Not me, for though. me, though. That's for sure. They, they just, just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names, names and throwing things. things. They even they then even told me my spoons. I do like, because the original game, they kept pretty static animations when they were talking, unless there was a particular emotion throughout the entire voice line that they needed to uh, inhibit. But I do like that it's more varied in this. They are showing a lot more... Uh, they are showing a lot more different emotions as the voice lines progress. So yeah, let's explore a little bit. New sounds for that. Like it, like it like that they kept the super mega combos and things like that. Very appropriate. Got cool stuff like the hey, robot bodies. You see, you're, you're going to need to yeah, 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 I know this right. move. That's that's just the up in the air. Wait, hold on. Where was the That's weird. Where was the the there's supposed to be a second TG. Oh, that was that animation was so good. This game looks amazing. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, oh I was going to say it. It wasn't there, but sure they made thing, it pop Patrick. up while the animation was you. or while I'm talking. That makes sense. Yep. See, if if they made these little like golden spatula icons parallax, I don't know why they couldn't make the and the like little attack effects. I don't know why they couldn't make the shiny objects parallax again. Um, like look at that. Activate. Yeah, I know. Like, look at that. Bang. Those little, like, explosions. That Parallax is... For those unfamiliar, parallaxing is... Like, they used it a lot in, in Nintendo 64 games. Parallaxing was what would happen. Is there a way to turn those off? It's like, I don't want those popping up every 10 seconds. Um, but parallaxing was when they would take a 2D image and make it so that no matter what angle you viewed it at, you viewed the particular way the item looked. Um, so like the quills in, uh, ukulele, and, like, oh, it doesn't immediately refill it. Interesting. The quills in ukulele, and, like, when I, I'll, I'll give you a great example. Like, see, see this, the five golden spatula thing? See how no matter where I turn the camera, it's always showing? That's an example of parallaxing. And the shiny objects in the original game were parallaxing but it, here they are not. Wow. That looks so good. Makes me wonder why I can't just walk over there, though. Um, but we're not done around SpongeBob's house. We got more stuff to do, and I do like the little... the way he stretches is so good. There's so much detail in these animations. They well, clearly did their homework. Now that's a life. Yeah. Yeah, it is, SpongeBob. And... Boy, yep, that's what I thought. We didn't Patrick have a... Hold on. Patrick had, like, a gramophone or something in his house, I'm pretty sure. Where's a gramophone? The pop-in's slightly annoying, but at least it's almost instantaneous. Before I can even move, it's resolved. Like, I love the Borderlands games, but oh my god, the pop-in. Pop-in in those games. I am so sorry. Yeah. Squidward, I don't know what to... Why don't you move to another town? I do find it weird that no Squidward had a lamp. since they know. Oh, I do like the I damage no models Squidward are pretty good. I, it is slightly annoying that even though they know well, they made that jump a lot easier. That was a pain in the ass in the original game. Okay, 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 just stop jumping. See Squidward? Yeah, give me the golden spatula. Um. Uh, even though they know, like, when Squidward stands right here, we know exactly what he's going to say. When Squidward stands over here, we know exactly what he's going to say. That they couldn't do actual lip syncing, because it's, like, slightly off, just a little bit. But, I mean, it's not like it, it's not like it's a bad thing. It's not like there's a complaint. Alright. You guys ready? I'm very ready. Here we go. 
go to Jellyfish Field. I'm so excited. You have absolutely no idea how excited I am right now, like for real. Green Hills of Jellyfish Fields, a place to experience nature and its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Boom. Oh, the Duplicator Tron looks exactly the same. I love it. God, these animations are absolutely amazing. It's so... It's it's nice and clean in a, in a very cell-shaded way. Like, everything is bright and shiny in a way I really like. Like, the original game might have had more texture... But I really just love the way all this looks. And oddly enough, it looks like the regular models look better than the um, than the cutscene models. Yeah, like, I love the way that Spongebob looks there. Like, he's just making a face. It's so good. So good. Mm -hmm. Love it when he makes that. Alright, we're in it, guys. This is it. We're in it. This is the real the real deal, the real game. Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated is here. Get ready for a 100% playthrough. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gameplay. In... Both, yeah. For the camera, because I can't. And that's, yeah. Alright. Yeah, there we go, that's much better. People who play with inverted camera are, is, are insane to me. So it looks like I can only do the Y when I've single jumped, not when I've double jumped. Oh, it doesn't pop up and give the X. That's funny to me, considering how many other, like, uh, explanations there are in the in the game. Like, oh, well, wait, don't, don't forget about this, don't forget about this. It's very funny to me that they don't explain that. A concept that's not really easily understood. But did they not fly back? Oh, that's a shame. Oh well. I am also curious if they adjusted the amounts of shiny objects needed for some of the side quests. Because I remember Mr. Krabs, he, his stuff was infamously hard towards the very end with how many shiny objects you were required to spend to just get through the rest of the game. Um, so I'm curious if that's something they addressed or fixed or if that's, if they kept that the same. Uh, these animations are... Th this is this is a dream come true. This is a literal dream come true. Now, the only thing that would be better is if they made the Spongebob movie game and did this for that. That would literally be the only thing that could top this. Like, both of those together, properly on PC, like, there would be nothing better. And look at the grass, the way it moves around him, like, ugh. Oh, seaweed doesn't, but that's fine. Like, the seaweed's a very clearly a different model there for, like... I love, God, I, they, so, for those not familiar, uh, they sold a, oop, looks like I fell. Wow, that loading was kind of longer than I expected. Like, it's not that bad. It's not really bad at all, but, like, the original game on the GameCube was, like, instant, instantly loading, versus that. That was odd. Um, but anyway... So I really like the way the Tiki's look in particular, and it makes me a little upset actually because in the... Oh, they do fly back. I guess it's just a specific radius. Um, there's a little bit of a vibration too when you hit them. It's a little nice bit of force feedback. Um, but the $300, which is crazy to me that they charge that much for, but the $300 collector's edition of the game has a really, really cool set of tiki keychains, where it's keychains of every tiki that you run into in the game. The fire tiki, the wooden tiki, the floating tiki, the stone tiki, and I think the quiet tiki as well. Um, and I wish those were things that I could buy outside of the collector's edition, because God, they just look so amazing. I miss the little, like, piano sound effect that was very Spongebob, and look at the, the checkpoint, it wiggles, it looks exactly the same. I'm so happy right now. Like, I, I, I'm so happy right now. 
I don't think I can properly explain to you how happy I am right now. Um, the only thing that would concern me is if I, like, stopped this and all of a sudden was like, am I... Oh, my recording wasn't happening that whole time, actually. That would be heartbreaking. But I don't think that's... Well, now, hold on. I'm going to make myself paranoid now. Is it still recording? It's still recording. All right. Cool. Never mind. I'm not paranoid. Things are literally perfect. I'm playing Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. I set aside literally, like, triple the amount of time to record that I normally do so I can play as much of this as humanly possible. Um, and yeah. And I'm sure by the time I beat the game, I'll have tiny complaints like, well, there was this thing that I wish that they didn't do or fixed, or well, well what about this thing? But in the grand scheme of things, I can't imagine it's really anything substantial at all. Like, little things like, oh, the Spongenator line that he said a few, uh, like, 30 seconds ago. Normally that's reserved for, or in the original game, that's reserved for, like, when you have, when you've just done, like, a super mega combo, like, you just destroyed a bunch of Tiki's or a bunch of robots. They normally save it for that, whereas that one, he just kind of threw it out. But that's such a tiny little thing. It, it so doesn't matter. I, guys, have I mentioned I'm having a blast? Like, just... I'm very interested to see, because this is the slowest level. It's the opening level. How things get later on in terms of controls and difficulty. Because... Man, I'm loving these. These robot corpses, I'm pretty sure, are new, and I'm loving that. Also loving, you can really get a sense of, like, space of where this is compared to the other places. Um, and look, he's dancing to the soundtrack. God, that makes me happy. And they remastered the soundtrack, too. Like, I will be buying that soundtrack. Like, putting it on my phone, listening to it at all times. I am absolutely delighted that this game is a thing and i guarantee you as soon as i beat it i will play it again like can't, just can't get enough because why wouldn't you why wouldn't you play it again the only thing i'm a little concerned about is the multiplayer which i don't know how much i'm gonna touch i might do once i beat the game i might do like an extra video that's like and i played a little bit of the multiplayer and here's me playing it for like 15 minutes but that's not the reason I'm here. That's not the reason any of us are here. Nobody saw the multiplayer and went, well, you know what? Now I'm sold. Wait, do I not? Oh, the button's still there. I was gonna say, I didn't see the button. Oh, the... Wow, the bungee jumping is very different. There's no sound effect? That was weird. So the bungee jumping is super different. Um, there's no like real sound effect for stretching. Whereas in the original, there was a sound effect of like every time you hit down or you hit dive, it was very like you heard the sound of him stretching and like a, like a guitar string almost. Whereas that, there was no noise whatsoever. Like that, that was weird. All right, yeah. I, I'm not even joking, despite the fact that it is a line in the game of like, Hammer, I get it. It literally took me until I replayed the game when I was like 14, where I was like, oh, Hammer. Yeah, I, I was one of those kinds of kids. I legit just didn't get it, but it's fine. Because I'm hype and happy to be here. Oh, wait, does... Do they not make silly noises anymore? What? Normally they all made, like, piano noises and stuff like that, but, like... Like, where did that go? Like, every, every little person you would hit would make, like, a piano noise or sound effect or something. But it seems like they took that out. Come on, guys. That's such a simple thing. And that adds so much to the character of the game. That's a little disappointing. 
These foot pads look exactly the same though, and you can even now see the imprints of the foot on them. Like, it's ever so slight, but man, they really did their homework. They knew what people wanted. And yeah, I've seen the reviews. I, I don't care. I don't care, because it's, it's a game that I knew exactly how the reviews were going to be. It didn't matter how much I hoped and wished, I knew it was not going to get 8s or 7s or whatever. Um, I am a huge fan of Easy Allies. Um, they're a group of 8 guys, I think it's 8 of them, who used to be game trailers, but once game trailers got shut down, they all banded together to form Easy Allies. And they just reviewed it, and their review went live uh, on release day. And they pretty much said, like, it's very fun, it's not perfect, but it's a very fun, silly game. And they gave it a 7.5, which I think is exactly what this game deserves. I love it because of my childhood experience with it, and I love platformers and collectathons. But it's not a perfect game. I don't think it's a perfect game at all. There's plenty of games that I could play that are, like, better experiences, I guess, but, like, the vibes are just so here in this. Like, yeah. It, it's, it's great. I love it. It's, it's not amazing. It's still a 7.5 or, like, an 8, but in my heart, it's a 10, which I think is the... Well, that was weird. Why didn't I get put at a checkpoint? Is there meant to be a checkpoint there? That... This game might be a little buggier than... than I initially thought. Who knows, maybe there was meant to be one there, they just forgot to add it in, and they're patching it in as we speak. Because I am playing it... So I ordered... Because I'm a, a plebe. I'm one of those people. I wanted a physical copy. Um, despite playing on PC, because I like the way things look on my shelves. Um, I ordered from Amazon, which means that it didn't get here until the day after release. Which means this video is going up two days after release. So hopefully there's still that little bit of release day bump that I can get in terms of views. Man, he just turns into a straight up rectangle there. Um, but, who knows, maybe there's... Maybe they're like, hey, we know about all of these bugs, we are working on them as we speak. Like, who knows? That could absolutely be the case. Well, they even kept the little... the little helicopter thing of like, this is why it's there. Details, man. Details make everything. Details make the world go round. Now, excuse me. This tells you how much I've played the game. Nobody, nobody knows about this area the first time they play. Because it's so up out of nowhere. You're like, what the heck is up here? Why would you go up here? But, yeah. Love these little areas. Love these little details. And honestly, even the way the shiny objects look, I know I prefer the parallax, but these little squishy looking, almost like gummies. They're growing on me, I gotta say. And let's go over this way. Yeah, that's a little bit smoother. Yeah, and again, no little thing. They're not automatic, I guess. Wait, do they not? Oh, they're cans now, not the little... They used to be like balls of robot, if that makes any sense. But they're not anymore. They're little cans, which I guess makes sense, but... That sound effect was so loud. Wow. But, yeah, it's, it's again, it's an ancillary thing. It's a tiny detail. But I'm just having an absolute blast. And now we're about to meet Mermaid Man. And he's, he, we're so excited to see him. And that is a wrinkly-ass model. He, his skin texture looks like a beach ball. And I, I've always loved in the game, like literal no context to a legit just old man real human be in the underwater like no context and guys having a blast so far love the little drawing of spongebob down there 
we're going to pick this up in the next episode. So thank you everybody for watching. Like the video if you like the video. Share the video if you want to share the video. Subscribe to if you want to. That would be absolutely sponge-tastic of you. I have been Jacob. I have also been just absolutely ecstatic. You have been wonderful. This has been SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Part 1 of a 100% playthrough. Guys, I can't wait. I'll see you all in the next episode. Adios!